And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! Big knee there. Jab hurt him. Watch that strike. Just missed with the leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're... Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Check that kick as well. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll lead him up. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a pezzisment. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in cover. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Big kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Punch 
Just missed with that right hand. Nice knee to the body there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Try to establish that jab. Second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Watch knees to the body. Jump in. 